What is up, investors? Jason here. So a lot going on with crypto right now. We've had Bitcoin going on six consecutive days of being in the green. That's the most that we've had throughout all of 2022. We've also seen the crypto fair and green index from going from extreme fear and fear now being in neutral for multiple days now. And the price of Bitcoin at this moment is above that $46,000 resistance. That is a major thing right now to be paying attention to, but not just with Bitcoin, but with the entire crypto market, because Bitcoin really does help pull everybody else. And looking over at Ethereum, we currently have Ethereum working its way up to $3,300 this moment. And we've been seeing consistent growth with a lot of the other cryptos, like Cardano, for example, where Cardano at this moment is at $1.16. I mean, a little bit more than a week ago, we had Cardano under 85 cents. So we're seeing things moving here uh, big time. Uh, we have Terra Luna that is uh, currently at more than $92 in this moment. Solana at $105 and uh, Polkadot $22. XRP 85 cents and AVAX about $88 right now. So we have a good amount of crypto actually showing signs that it could be breaking out. A lot of these altcoins are showing uh, consistent patterns. They're showing um, they're showing a lot of consolidation. And these are all things that I want to talk about right now. So as we get to it, if you guys don't mind, please do me a huge favor. Please be sure to smash, destroy, annihilate, or gently press that like button because it helps me out with the algorithm and help spread this content to more people that might find it interesting and subscribe if you have not already. Now let's get to this. So we've seen the crypto market go from bearish to bullish pretty fast. Now looking at the last seven day percentages, Bitcoin up more than 13%, Ethereum up more than 14%. But the really surprising thing is we've seen some of the altcoins make some really big moves like Cardano, for example, which is up nearly 34% in the last seven days. And Cardano was one of those cryptocurrencies that has, has lost a lot of popularity. And now we're seeing it gain popularity again as it's starting to really rally. We've also seen Solana making some big moves up more than 18%. But let's not forget about cryptocurrencies that a lot of people have stopped talking about, like Dogecoin, for example, which over these last seven days, Dogecoin is up 20%. This is all really big news. And things are only going to get a lot more crazy in my opinion. So let's just do a quick technical analysis of all these popular cryptocurrencies right now on the move. And I want to go into ones that are showing a lot of consolidation right now and really highlight those ones in particular. But we will start with the big dog, Bitcoin, which Bitcoin currently is past that $46,000 resistance and it's moving its way up to $47,000 at this moment. And this is big. But the big thing is, is Bitcoin going to, going to make it up to that resistance of $48,000 and, and possibly even overcome that $48,000 resistance. That's the big question right now. Now, of course, Bitcoin rallying right now is leading everybody else, but let's take a look over at what's going on with Ethereum, where we have Ethereum also making some really good moves with Ethereum approaching that $3,400 resistance. That is a major area of resistance for Ethereum. And if we are able to overcome that $3,400 price with Ethereum, then that could lead into a really nice breakout with ethereum so we'll have to see how that does play out but this but seeing how we're currently trending upwards we've broken out of that that pattern that we're in we've been we, we've broken out of that pattern for actually a while now we've seen plenty of days within the green over our week now and things just keep going up so we're definitely in some sort of crypto rally kicking off right now at this moment but now let's hop on over to Cardano, because the thing here, looking at Cardano, seeing how we've had, we have all this consolidation right now with Cardano. And the thing is, we need to see Cardano get past this $1.20 resistance. We need to see it go above that, find support. And that's going to help get Cardano to its next major spot of trying to get to that $1.50 price. That $1.50 is the moon price for Cardano. And seeing how things are turning up so fast right now, this is very similar to like what we had seen in August of 2021. And I wouldn't be surprised 
that we don't see something very similar because that rally had started off in July of 2021 and that went all the way up into September 2021 and that was due to the lead in with the um with knowing the update that would be coming out this at this point it was the Alonzo hard fork and that was the smart contract capabilities but we do have uh, we do know when there's another big update for Cardano coming out and that is in June of 2022 and that is when we're going to be able to get a pipelining capabilities with Vizzle hard fork. Now, other than the Vizzle hard fork though, Cardano is doing a lot right now as far as scalability optimization. So there's a lot of big things currently going on with Cardano and this is huge for the amount of applications that are in the works right now with Cardano and that are gonna be coming out. So there's a lot of big things uh, to really look forward to with Cardano and this makes things a lot more bullish, um, a lot more bullish outlook, especially with uh, its ecosystem increasing so much like it is right now. So a lot of big things going on with Cardano and there is a lot of room uh, to really go up to that all time high that they were at back in September because there's a lot of things coming out right now that were not at all where they were back at that that um, that price winner in September. There's a lot of big things coming out right now and that are gonna continue coming out throughout all this year. So Cardano is one to definitely be watching in my personal opinion. Now, as there's a lot of room to grow with Cardano, other cryptocurrencies that have seen some really big rallies already, like Terra Luna, for example, Luna has uh, has seen a lot of uh, aggressive growth, but the thing is, when we look over at its graph, we can see that currently, Luna is consolidating a lot. It's very close to uh, its all-time high, but the big thing is there is a big possibility that if it is to find support above that $100 price, which is an area that has so much resistance, that we could see even more uh, of a price breakout with Luna after that point because there's been so many days now that we've kind of fluctuated around this $90 and $100 price. And I wouldn't be surprised with all the big things that have gone on with crypto lately, especially as we're seeing the price of Bitcoin moving, that there is still a, a lot more that could come from Terra Luna. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see this thing also go into a big rally, especially with all this consolidation that we're currently seeing. Now, Terra Luna is just part of the Terra blockchain. Now, the Terra blockchain lets users create stable coins pegged to fiat currencies. And the thing here is that that the that Terra Luna's founder is planning a ten billion dollar Bitcoin reserve for UST, which is Terra's a U.S. stablecoin, not to be confused with other stablecoins like Tether, which is USDT. Just to get that clear. But anyway, so they're 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 planning on adding a ten billion dollar Bitcoin reserve, and they already do have a Bitcoin reserve at this moment with over. $2 billion inside of it. So uh, they're increasing this value and this is great, especially if we do see the price of Bitcoin going up more. So uh, there, there's a lot of big things in store with, uh, with, with Terra Luna and we're definitely seeing that go on within its price and we're seeing that consolidation and anything can really happen at this point. Now let's take a look over at what is going on with Solana where uh, currently we have Solana at $105, and the thing is that Solana has just uh, passed a resistance of of uh, $100, and it is trekking its way up to a uh, another resistance of $112. So if we're able to hold support above $100 and work our way up to $112, this could be big. Especially look at just a few months ago, Solana was at its all-time high of $260. And if you look at the last time that Bitcoin really had a big rally and took off, back in August into uh, September, October, where we really really were seeing a lot of cryptos really moving up in the month of uh, October a lot. We really saw uh, Solana just make some very aggressive moves. So if we see another rally like that with Bitcoin, we could really see a nice rally possibly with Solana as well. Uh, this one has a lot of potential if the whole crypto market is going on a rally. Now, when we look at Solana from January, to now, I mean, Solana has just basically been trading sideways uh, the whole time. It, even though it's going up and down, it's just its moving averages haven't really changed much. It's it's just been consistent, hanging out around these prices, and this is a lot of consolidation going on. So there is a lot of potential with a Bitcoin rally, 
uh, to really move Solana up. And it's not like Solana even has to go to its all-time high to make any sort of big gains. It has um, just, just doubling from where it's at is a really good amount of money. So there's a lot of big things that could happen with Solana if we do see a rally with Bitcoin and we do see the crypto market continuing to go, especially with knowing you know, how quickly we can see the price of Solana going up. But let's go look at some other cryptocurrencies like Polkadot, which is also, we've been seeing it trade sideways just like Solana has. And currently we have Polkadot up at that $22 uh, resistance right now it's currently above it a little bit and if we're able to see this happen if we're able to see uh, um, polka dot go above this 22 dollars resistance we could possibly be seeing the price of polka dot really having a nice breakout because remember the all-time high that we had seen polka dot go in the last 52 weeks was 56 dollars now let's take a look over at xrp which We've been seeing a lot of consolidation with XRP, and we currently have XRP uh, a little bit above its 85 cent resistance. So that's another huge thing right there. If we're able to see XRP break through this 85 cent resistance and continue tracking up, and it, it especially go up to the price of 90 cents, and then from there going above one dollar, that is going to be a big thing. And and I wouldn't be surprised that you wouldn't see that happen, especially since. We're, we're seeing a large shift in the direction of all these cryptocurrencies. They're all in this upward trends right now. And not just XRP, but I mean, Avalanche doing the same thing. We're seeing Avalanche continuing to trade sideways. And there's a, a potential that we can see this, this price break through this pattern here, this sideways pattern and, and possibly yeah, this consolidate, consolidation to let loose and things just, you know, possibly going to rally. But we'd have to see, of course, but there is a, also a lot to really gain from avalanche and we don't usually see avalanche trade tightly as it currently is we haven't seen that in a while at least now uh i also want to take you guys over to dogecoin which we've really seen a lot of this consolidation but now we're seeing the price of dogecoin trending up as well which is nice to see some good movements within dogecoin and i wouldn't be surprised that if we get dogecoin up to 16 cents and we are able to break through that we could be seeing a really nice rally with dogecoin and we can see a lot of people continue to get bullish on Dogecoin again. That would be really nice because a lot of people um, have kind of just been bummed about Dogecoin. Like Pro the Doge, for example, the Dogecoin millionaire, um, I'm sure he's really um, has disliked how how low the price of Doge, Dogecoin has come, but that's kind of just the game with cryptocurrencies. And this could be the next moment here where we could see a rally with a dogecoin but of course anything is possible uh, there's so much going on in the real with these geopolitical issues and things could take a turn at any moment so don't take anything that i'm saying as any sort of financial advice i mean never take anything that i'm saying as any sort of financial advice because i'm not trying to give you advice i'm only sharing opinions here uh, so please do take that into consideration. And of course, there's a lot of risk involved with cryptocurrencies and everything that's going on in the world right now can uh, have a huge cause and effect on the entire crypto market, the stock market and everything. So um, please do understand that. But anyways, I would like to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on what is going on with the crypto market right now. Do you guys think that we could be seeing a bull run right now? And do you think that these cryptocurrencies that I'm talking about, which are a good majority of all the top cryptocurrencies out there, do you think that they are due for a rally with all the consolidation that we are seeing at this moment? I would like to know. So with that being said, please like, share, comment, subscribe. New content coming out every single day. I will see you all in the next one coming very soon.